Hello and welcome to Post Scriptum, a forthcoming World War II mod for Squad. And quite simply, even at this early stage you can see on screen, it looks absolutely bloody stunning. Now, World War II for me feels more warlike, if that makes any sense. We had grit, heroes, courage, that bulldog spirit, spitfires, white cliffs of Dover and Churchill. And that really, for me, was when Britain was a great country, instead of the utter cesspit it is currently. Now, one of the first things I asked when I reached out to the devs was, can I have a look around? And they did come back to me and say, at this current stage, they're not quite ready to be showcasing too much of the content, so we are a couple of months away. But they have offered to show me around when it's ready, so expect me to do a, I don't know if it'll be an exclusive video, but certainly a video with an interview with the devs and a look around some of the maps, weapons, in-game, sound audio, all the good stuff that we usually do on the channel. So I will be covering this game. As soon as there's any news about it, I will be letting my subscribers know. So what is Postscriptum? Well, it's a World War II modification for our beloved squad. And players will relive the events of Operation Market Garden across the fields and towns of Holland. This massive Allied assault consisted of a coordinated attack of the British and the American Airborne to capture key bridges while the British Corps moved to reinforce them through Highway 69. However, Consecutive delays in consolidating ground from the north of Belgium through to Nijim forced the 1st British Airborne Division in Arnhem to make a stand much longer than anticipated. With no successful link between the Corps and the Airborne in sight, the seventh and final bridge in Arnhem was considered lost. And if you haven't seen the bridge, a bridge too far, the film, should I say, with Sean Connery, watch it. Fantastic. Obviously, I the, my heart is with the Paras. I haven't had a little bit of a stint with Four Para. So, fantastic film. And I think everybody I know absolutely loves World War II rather than the modern combat stuff, especially for me. Armour 3, when it went off and did all this bug-eyed modern stuff, just not interested. The devs are calling this the Bloody Seventh, and it's their name for the initial focus of the project. And they want it to feel succinctly giving details that show the struggle that the British paratroopers had to endure while waiting for their army counterparts to establish a link through the Lower Rhine. Players will be given the option to fight with the British Airborne Division, the British Corps or several branches of the German Army such as the Wehrmacht or the Waffen SS. It's a rare opportunity to experience the intense battlefield that was the Battle of Arnhem while stretched across farms, woods, villages and city areas and each area is being accurately recreated from archival references that range from street level to aerial images. So, looks like we're going to get the opportunity to jump out of a plane, we'll be resupplying friendlies or operating a tank, and you'll find multiple reasons to drop back into the battlefield in this grand scale representation of a World War II setting that's never really been explored in a large multiplayer environment. Now, there are mods out for Project Reality, and it seems that a lot of the devs have come from that Battlefield Project Reality World War II mod background, so they certainly have the experience and talent to pull this off. The project was started in March, which is quite incredible to see how, how far they've actually come in this short time. And they're wanting to please players with a multitude of different gaming options, along with those who want to relive the Battle of Arnhem in a historically accurate setting. I think that's the most important thing. These guys are going for accuracy, so the weapons and buildings, maps, are all going to be true to life. So this is just going to be, if you're into World War II, this is going to be World War II pawn for you. Now, regarding the Nazi symbology, well, yes, it's going to be in there because it's historically correct. Whether you like it or not, whether you live in one of these countries that's wrapped in cotton wool and you're a left-wing feminist social justice warrior, tough, because the game is coming out with it. Although they are going to be also creating a censored version for those countries that are wrapped in cotton wool, shall we say. So the big question is really, when's it out? When's it out? When do we get to play on it, Para? Well, they're not giving any release dates as such. And this is the correct way to do it, really. It'll be ready when it's ready. You're only going to get into this panic state like we had with vehicles, with the community starting to moan and grumble because the devs set a, a certain date. And they weren't happy with it. They wanted it to be the best it could be. That's kind of the same way these guys are, are approaching this. It'll be ready when it's ready. And regarding vehicles, again, they're not making any promises. But of course, you've seen the images. You know what historically vehicles were around at that time. So it looks like we're going to be getting an amazing World War II mod. I absolutely cannot wait for this. I love the World War II stuff, especially the uh, German stuff. And being able to play as the paratroopers, I hope 
there is a couple of game modes in there where we have to capture, say, two bridges. So it will be literally combat and fighting over the bridges, as they did historically. Absolutely mind-blowing. I cannot wait for this. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Big up to the devs. Uh, I will be covering this game more and hopefully get getting hint hint some exclusive video footage as we get further in but in the meantime i've been para players and this has been postscriptum since i've had an opportunity to write to you so i gladly avail myself of the present opportunity i'm not certain that i will have a chance to send this but i will write a few lines anyhow and try and get it off to let you know that i am among the living I sit and brood over how we are cheated of so many precious moments on account of this terrible war. Yet I am not complaining, darling. I also get a lot of enjoyment dreaming about you and the things we will do together when I return. War news is again looking good. Although the end is in sight, the war will be as hard as or even harder than before. Everyone over here has given up predicting the date of its end. But we are all hoping it will be over soon. Close now, darling, hoping all is well with you and that you are thinking of me tonight. All my love for you, 